What's up guys? We are back with another NECA Toys TMNT review taking a look at the good guys from the recent Turtles in Time wave. We're of course taking a look at two Ninja Turtles. We've got Leonardo and Donatello. So these guys are sort of reissues from that original convention exclusive four pack with a slight paint deco change and some new accessories which I'm very excited about. I never bought into those so I'm getting these for the first time. We've got Leo and Don here in some really fantastic artwork inspired by the vintage arcade cabinets. So you got the figure in the window and then you've got the turtles wrapped around it in that really ridiculous suit design and then you've got some shots from the game artwork on the sides of the boxes mimicking the actual arcade cabinet itself and then the back of the box has got some cross sell for the wave and then a product shot for whatever figure is actually in the box. So let's do it. Let's pull them out and take a look. And here they are out of the packaging. So we've got our Leonardo and Donatello arcade figures from Turtles in Time. Now you guys may already have these figures or at least figures that are very very close to these because these are the figures that sort of restarted the NECA onslaught of turtle figures. This was what a 2016 originally anyway a 2016 SDCC exclusive set and then there was also an accompanying foot set as well. I do not have that set. That set for whatever reason at the time it didn't really do it for me. The video game stuff hadn't set in. I have a number of other NECA video game toys at this point, and I always kind of wanted these after the fact. I'm really happy that NECA has re-released them now, and I'm much more interested now that I know that the line has so much more potential, and we know a lot of crazy stuff is coming, so it's nice to be able to finally get these, although this set never really skyrocketed too crazily on the aftermarket. I do think that there is a lot of cool stuff going on here. Now, at the same time, if you've gotten any Toon Turtles from NECA, you know exactly what's happening here because these are the same figures. Those figures are these figures because these of course came first and then we got the Toon set in 2017 and now of course they're Target exclusive. So if you've got those figures, you know exactly what's going on. The only thing different here is a paint deco change. So let's run through articulation real quick. We'll move one of them aside and see what they do and then we'll get into all the video game pixelated art aspects of it. So we'll use Donnie here as our test subject and again if you've messed with a Toon Turtle or the original video game Turtles, you know what's going on here. So you've got a head that can look up. He can look down pretty good as well. The neck is also articulated so it does move with the figure. You've got a little tilt action and then full rotation of course. Your arms go out at the shoulders. They rotate as well. I will note here because this is where things started to get a little stiff for me. I have had to extensively heat up both of these figures. There was a number of stuck joints. They're, they're fine now and I don't really have too many issues with them, but they definitely needed the heat treatment. We've got a bicep swivel. You've got your single rotating elbow, as is the case with a lot of this line. You've got hinges and rotation at the wrist. Donnie has lateral hinges. Leo has vertical hinges because of the sword. They do have articulation inside the shell. So there's a little bit of tilt back and forth here, and then there is a little bit of swivel. But of course, it only goes so far because of the fact that the shell is there. So, I mean, they're turtles. They don't really have a lot of stuff going on in there anyway, but NECA did put what they could to allow them to at least pivot a little bit. Legs go all the way out so you can get them to do the turtle splits. Basically, they go forward and the the underside of the shell, the stomach area, is pliable so it does help them move out of the way a little bit. And then you've got a thigh cut sort of up there. It's basically where the, the hips meet the thighs. So you've got a twist as far as it'll go. And then you've got double jointed knees so they go all the way back. The knee pad does get in the way but of course it hides the joint as well. And then You've got ball joints down at the ankle, so he got he's got quite a good range of motion uh, forward, pretty good backwards, but forward is really where it's at. And then you've got rocker, and then you've also got rotation down there. So they do move pretty well. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with how they move. Uh, I've been pretty satisfied with these for a long time. So again, very familiar territory, just with a new paint scheme, for me anyway. And that paint scheme is truly what differentiates these from, well, everything. Because there's not a ton of figures out there that truly look like this. This is something still pretty unique to what NECA does when it comes to their action figures, is doing this pixelated art style, the video game look. And I think for the most part, they sell it pretty well. Uh, these are, again, figures that we've seen time and time again. So the original arcade set, the original Toon set, the Target 
tune sets, and now we've got more of these. These are, however, slightly different from the original arcade sets. Their necks, their throats, as far as I know, have a little bit of a paint difference. Otherwise, they're the exact same figures, and they're the exact same figures that you would get in the tune sets. They're, there's not any difference, so it's not like you're getting different heads or anything like that. Leo has the two sides of the gritting exposed teeth always on all of these figures. Donnie's the one that doesn't have any teeth. Uh, Mikey has the head that is exposed teeth on his his left and Raf is on the right. So they're always the same figures. There's no real swapping there that I can think of. And I do like the way these look. There is a lot of paint on these guys too. Of course, you know, you've got your standard kind of slightly bright green. It's not as bright as the Wave 2 Toon Turtles, but of course it's much brighter than the original Wave 1 uh, Toon Turtles, that kind of olive green. So you've got a lot of that pixelated art style all over it. So all of these big, like diamonds and then overlapping different shades of dark green and black squares. So like all over uh, the sides of the arms. And it gives this cell shaded look as well, which they often do where you'll have a lighter side on the front and you can see it kind of fade to almost black on the back side to give it a very cell shaded look. I think it works really well. It definitely sells the illusion for me. You've got painted belts. They've got, the, of course, they've got their, their lettered belt buckle there. And then the shells on the back do have holsters for their weapons. Donnie's got a slot for his bow staff. Leo has the holsters, sheaths for his swords. These have always been kind of a pain point for me because they're so, so tight and I've heard of people breaking their swords, putting them in there. I tend to not use them because the times I do, I feel like I'm never going to get them out. So err on the side of caution on that if you want to do that. They do work, but it might take some fighting to get them back out. I do, in a general sense, really dig this. It's always fun to get new turtles, so I think these do look really good. The paint on them is really solid. You know, there's a lot of differing colors all over the place to make it look like that video game style and give it that cell shaded look. And it all pops and contrasts against the bright skin. And then, of course, the shells and their uh, their masks and their armbands, wristbands, and their knee pads. And I think the head sculpts on these are just as good as they've ever been. I'm a big fan of this style. It still gives the very tune aspect because that's where a lot that's where obviously the video game artwork was drawn from and it just looks good you can always tell that this is donatello and this always is the head sculpt i think of when it comes to leonardo just because of you know like the intro in the cartoons so it's a good look the figures are great the paint is fantastic and it's a sculpt that at this point i have a number of figures that are like this but it's no less impressive to get these in hand now where things get really exciting with these figures is the accessories. So to start with, they've got all the same stuff that they came with in those original exclusive sets. So to start with, you've got some extra hands and Leo comes with these uh, kind of style pose, martial arts almost style hands somewhat trigger finger hands almost if you want to call them that but they also are kind of pointing hands at the same time and then Donnie has these open palm just flat hands so you know put a piece of pizza that he doesn't come with in his hand or something like that they do of course have their signature weapons and you've got Donnie's bow staff which is done up in a kind of flexible plastic it's got the wraps on it it does come apart in the middle as well so you can more easily put it in his hand so you don't have to kind of run the whole thing through his fists. So you've got that guy. And then we've got Leo's swords. And these are done up with a really basic paint scheme. So there's really, you know, not much to them. It basically gives off that very video game vibe. So gray blades with an even darker gray uh, handle. So these are the same sculpt we've seen time and time again with all of this. But... These figures come with extra stuff, stuff that differentiates them quite a bit from the SDCC set and makes them very much a Turtles in Time set. They come with the hoverboards. This is easily the deciding factor for me when it comes to which set is truly better, the original exclusive or the new set. And while the original exclusive does have the fancy arcade style box, these are so good and so cool that they absolutely overshadow everything. This is a fantastic accessory to get because, well, we're getting a lot of them based on the fact that all the turtles are going to come with them and the foot soldier comes with them. But the sculpt alone is really well done. They are quite large. I mean, they're bigger than the turtles themselves. They have a great paint job. It's very clean and crisp. There's some cell shading style uh, details all over it. You've got the thrusters on the back there, and then you've got the little fin on the bottom. Of course, it does have a flight stand, so you can kind of angle it around to knock the other one around if you want. They rock side to side, rotate all over the place, and of course they have pegs to put your turtle on. So I can't see any reason not to want to get this version. You know, if like me you didn't have any, there's no reason not to get this set because they come with just a tremendous amount of accessories, and this thing in particular is really worth the price of admission to put your video game turtle on. 
So yeah, I've said it a number of times at this point for this exact set of figures. These are great turtles. I'm a big fan of this design, of this sculpt, and these turtles in particular are just something different. At least for me, these are also something new. I do like this design. I like this style of figure. And frankly, this is the start of what could be a really extensive and fantastic line because there is a lot of good stuff to pull from when it comes to the turtle games. These two figures in particular, they're more of the same kind of good stuff that I've seen time and time again from NECA because these are familiar territory. But the paint job is great, the sculpt is great. The only real negative with these figures is that they did need a lot of heat, but at the end of the day, after heating them up, they do move around really well. They've got those great accessories. The hoverboards are, again, worth the price of admission. And if you don't have the video game turtles and are even remotely interested, this is the set to go with just because of the boards. They are a kind of make it or break it thing for this set. They really make them far more valuable and more exciting exciting than just getting the turtles alone. It's a great package deal, really. So that's going to do it for this look at the NECA Toys Turtles in Time, Leonardo and Donatello. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.